Jocelyn and I went to Burning Bridge Antiques in Columbia, Pennsylvania, and the first thing I saw were these clown juicers, and I was shocked at how colorful they still were because I would think after years of juicing, they would have lost their color on their heads. This was a really neat looking West Germany wall sculpture. It wasn't a wall pocket, but a wall sculpture, and had a nice mid-century modern vibe to it. This was a piece of uh, Murano glass. It was made for Princess House in Murano. I know that because Jocelyn uh, informed me that those were made for Princess House as well. This is a black Murano, uh, well, it's black Millefiore Murano glass. And I really like the contrast of the black and white together. This is, this is neat. I got all these what are you? The, the Republic of Ireland, made in the Republic of Ireland, a leprechaun, a leprechaun from 1968. Oh, this, this looks, this is super <laughs> what is this? This, this, this looks it's like Fonzie. Made in Germany. 22 dollars. Look at it. Do you see it? You go first. Do you see it? Let's see, what are you looking at? Oh. This? Yes. I think he's resin now. I've had I, that one before. He looks like um, Artisania, but he I does. Don't get in. And I've actually got him. We got him at um, in Adam's tent. Uh, not Burning Bridge. That's where we're at right now. <laughs> There's a whole bunch of alley things in here. Yes. This is cute too. She added lots of owls. There's even an owl painting. And there's this owl here with big googly eyes. Yeah. That looks like Juanita Pottery. If he had googly eyes, that would be even better. Look at the owl. <laughs> Who are you looking at? Oh boy. Yeah, it's like all good stuff. There's a boxer. He's so cute. This is my basket. Your basket was closer to us. Okay. And that's neat too, this owl thing here. Oh, it's made out of nails. This owl is made out of nails. That's cool. These enamel dishes that you find, it's enamel over copper, and you do have to really check it out because sometimes the enamel gets a crack in it. And this was just a little Japan, made in Japan ashtray. And the Roadrunner grabbed my attention because I used to live in Arizona and that looked like something very southwestern to me. Blanco. The dog figurine in the back was nice, and the owl figurine in the front, I had turned it over when we had first uh, come up to the booth, and it had holes on the bottom of it, and I think that's why I was, wasn't really sure See, there's the two holes. So that's why I didn't uh, purchase the owl. This was a souvenir from Hawaii. It had shells in, uh, embedded in it. And it was nice because it had the little cork feet on the bottom to protect your furniture. And then I really like this guitar shaped trinket dish ashtray but the only things that uh, spoiler alert the only two things that I bought on this trip were the two owls you saw me uh, pick up earlier and this was a lipstick holder you could hold four of your lipsticks and this I had picked up one of these uh, by the, sa the same brand uh, in Goodwill before it's a soapstone figurine and this was, I did a terrible job of showing you, I showed a good job of showing you the bottom, but a terrible job of showing you that it was actually a nicely done seal. And in the back here, um, that is Italian pottery. 
This was a giant glass gl uh, gazing ball for your garden. And then this looked like the blue teddy bear that they had called glass teddy bear at another antique mall that Jocelyn and I had gone to. This is uh, a bank. And then I thought this was a clever way of using your uh, flower frogs. You could put a little air plant in the flower frog. She some That's pretty. This was a fused glass plate. I call them fused glass. I might be calling it the wrong thing, but um, usually you can find the signature on the back. So uh, Peggy Carr is a uh, popular name to find. Her signatures are kind of hard to find, but they're usually on the back of the piece, sometimes on the front. Uh, and this was a little made in probably, I'm assuming, grease, salt, pepper shaker. My parents used to restore VW bugs when I was a child, so that grabbed my attention. I also learned how to drive on a Volkswagen. Um, my dad insisted I learn to drive with a stick, and I have never owned a car with a stick since. But in case of emergency, I would be able to drive a stick. Here are some examples of Fenton glass. There's the dog in the back and some satin glass in the back and some more Fenton mice. Uh, very similar to the duck that I found at Goodwill and there is a Fenton shoe. Oh, that looks so uncomfortable. That's cute how you put the day leaf on that though. It's $55. I never really look at the jewelry, so I thought let's mix things up a little bit and give you a look-see at the jewelry. There was a really nice uh, Murano glass bowl in the back there. So here I'm just giving a slow pan to all of the people who like to look at jewelry. I like the bracelet in the front there with the blue stones. And then we walked towards the back of the store and there were these three uh, canisters made in Mexico that had coffee and flour and then the first one was sugar. And then on the bottom, this was nicely painted. It was a floral tray, they said, for $12. And in the same area as that booth was this really cute planter that could be a Boston Terrier or a French Bulldog or just a really super duper cute black and white puppy dog. And here are some Christmas things. I'm going to move over there when you move, so you enjoy it. Okay. <laughs> While Jocelyn was enjoying the floor air conditioner, I continued to look at the Christmas things. I didn't really grab prices. Just wanted to give you a look at just the different things that they had. Christmas is around the corner. It'll be here before we know it. So you'll remember that this was the day that it was so super, super, super hot. So here I am enjoying the floor air conditioner. My gram had a floor heater in Arizona and I remember doing the same exact thing, standing over it and warming up, but this was amazing. Do you like my thrifting shoes? <laughs> I love them. They're so comfy. I highly recommend them. Here's some Bakelite, let's see. Carved bangle. I think it says $125, and then next to it is a red Bakelite bow pin for $135, and then the one with the dingly danglies is $150, and the other dark dingly dangly is $125. And now we are upstairs. Here is a three-piece canister set for $55. 
I'm going to assume that it's Ellie Smith, but it might have not been. Wow, the ladle is thirty-eight dollars. Probably because it got broken all the time. Look at this fella. That's pretty. Hey, fella. Oh, that's a cute fella. That is the largest National Koi frog toad I have ever seen in my entire life. That is so cute. It's massive. He is so big. $265. Is he just tight to sit and be so cute? I don't know. They're calling him a sprinkler. A frog sprinkler. Hmm. I'm sure he serves a purpose. I'm just not aware of it. We found some pretty cool stuff out of here. I like this. This is cute. Uh, it was damaged though. That's was super cute. Oh, that's pretty too. <laughs> That is a Cambridge Crown Tuscan Tarleton candy, $30. And here is a Napco Wear Christmas uh, planter. I really liked how her dress was this dark burgundy brownish color and not, you know, typical red green colors that you see at Christmas time. And these, I um, they thought that maybe they were um, Eldrith. The label say Eldrith, perhaps. I like those flowers. I like those fish. That's pretty. Italian? Mika Salerno. That sounds Italian to me. <laughs> pretty blue. It's interesting because it's fish, but I think it's a fl floral frog. These are all umbrella handles. That's cool. Parasol handles, six dollars. Those are my favorite mugs. That's really cool. That's Bavaria, Germany. I have one bed. Isn't that neat? Strawberry lucite one. It's yeah, it's a, a Westmoreland fairy lamp and it's painted and it's that kind of pearly white color. It's $32. Maybe they got more stuff in. That's super cute. I like how it's not like Christmassy. They're just dressed regularly, but it says joy on this guy. <laughs> Made it. Here are some salt and pepper shakers. I'm going to flip them over to give us a idea on the price. This was priced at $18 for the kitty cats and the spaniel dogs were priced at $14 and the teddy bear was $9. I like the, these in the back. Um, I knew that they were going to be Germany. Oh, Germany. <laughs> I knew they were going to be Japan before I picked them up. Uh, just the, based on the look of them. I liked how it looked like a butterfly when you sat them together. Like one giant butterfly. And this was a, this was a sweet cow with a salt and pepper shaker. And some fish for $18. This was a cookie jar. It says Jolly Man as found. So it looks like there was a hairline crack somewhere on it. But I know she was cute. $10. That's adorable. 
How much is that? $10. That's cute. The little black poodles were three for 12. It looked like there was a owl family and some other little dog figurines. And then I finished out our trip here with these bookends by Lefton. Here is the owl that I picked up. He kind of reminded us of Anna. <laughs> Artis I always want to say Anaconda. Artisania rinconata. <laughs> but it's not. I got that. Making sure he stays in focus here. And then I got this owl. <laughs> Because it reminded me of Juanita Ware. And if you do this, watch this. You take a tea light and you can stick them like that. You have to be careful though. And you turn the lights out. There, I had to turn the lights off. So he just kind of sits on this little votive, but you could put a block it like that and his eyes would glow. <laughs> Isn't that cute? All right, up next is Susie and she wants to show you her new trick that she can do. So thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all your kind comments. I'll see ya.